you know, normally I would start with the director, but I'm not going to because I just have to say that, <clears throat> you know, it's it's a real, it's a hard acting role that's in that. It really is. I mean, anytime you have to do nudity, it's not just emotional, but when you add all of that stuff on, to me, that's like makes it even more difficult because I think it's not even that nudity is necessarily a, a hard thing. But when you're exposed like that, and then you're emotionally exposed and everything else, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like this overexposure. And I would think that that's very, very hard to sort of focus, is it, and act? Um, I think, I mean, doing a nude, do, being nude and then having to act and being very emotionally vulnerable is, for me, on that day, I think because I really trusted, you know, Lori and I trusted the process. Um, you know, honestly, after a while, when you're, when you're naked, you're like, ah, whatever. You know, whatever, I'm naked. Here are my boobs, you know? <laughs> it's just not, like, interesting anymore. So um, I think, I, for me, it made me just focus really on the acting and, and focus on the character in the moment. Um, and, I, and I feel like this is the ultimate hurdle for an actor, right, for a woman, yeah. especially. Like, if you can be buck naked <laughs> on camera and you can still commit fully, then you know your craft. I agree. Right. And I felt like for me, I, I, I had to prove that I knew my craft. So it didn't matter if I'm fully clothed or I'm completely naked, this is my craft. Right. So that's, I think, what kept me focused because it was the power of the character and the power of the moment. Where did the idea come from? Um, well, I was in Beijing and um, I was looking at some photographs um, in the National Geographic website and this woman, uh, her name is Chia Goya, and she... Um, did a photo series of a uh, sculpture reproduction shop. So she makes, uh, there was like a lot of different sculptures that were um, copied from classical works. And I just thought that setting was so white and beautiful and I wanted to do something in that world. And then uh, the white, white um, backdrop was screaming color. So I was thinking of uh, color puddles. And then I have a history in art and art history. Um, that's where my background is. And I decided that, um, the Augusta Rodin and Camille Claudel story would match perfectly, so that's where it all started. You used lots of flour too, huh? Yes, we used um, 500 pounds of flour, which is uh, literally half a ton. Um, and uh, my poor producers, everybody on the <laughs> crew had to <laughs> clean it up. It, you know, it was, we were shooting uh, in Inglewood on this, at this loft studio, and um, there was no elevator, it was just a stair. Well, oh so my we, God. we had 50 pounds of flour, you know, on our backs going up up the stairs, and we oh. um, actually broke a shot back uh, cleaning it up. <laughs> I have to say, this is like the one project I'm glad I didn't produce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it was tough, but I had some great producers on set. Okay, so let's reverse a little bit, since we both have you here to talk about choices, because you know I like that film too, huh? We've talked about that. and it, But um, not so much about the film, but the fact that you you know, for you, it seems that these very sort of heavy emotional kind of things are something that resonates. Um, I assume that's true, right? So. Well, um, I'm really drawn to dramatic material, and Joyce wrote that, and I uh, and she asked me to direct it, and I was a little hesitant because uh, it was so heavy, and uh, it was the first time I did something that I think uh, controversial, and uh, but. You know, the, the material was great, and I liked working with Joyce, so I said yes. Um, and it just happened that um, I'm doing, you know, in that world of female, uh, you know, women um, contemplating their life choices in terms of their pregnancies. So um, it's a very interesting subject, and I, I am drawn to that. It's, it's kind of funny because, um, Lori, after, after we did... Um, Hugh. Lori's like, how come all my stuff has blood in it? <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but I think, um, I think that they really reflect Lori's voice and her as a person. Because if you look at Hugh, for example, it's so driven by her. Like, it really is so signature Lori. Because like she herself is an artist, right? And that uses paints. And so the idea of the color and the, the visual of it is so artistic. It's so, it's a painter, right? Which yeah. is what Lori is, right? And then if you look at choices, it's also Lori, because it's about, it's about the woman's experience. And, and Lori's deep. You're deep. Thank you. <laughs>
And because of her depth and her ability to really, you know, allow herself as a director to to show that vulnerability in her, you know, through her actors and, and through her choices as a director, it, it, it really is truly her voice. You know, it's a reflection of who she is, and I think, and that's why I think she gravitates towards. I mean, I'm not to speak for you, guys. Correct. <laughs> right? yeah. She gravita gravitates towards stories that are deep, that are gonna make you feel that emotional rawness. You know, because I think Lori is somebody who really channels that. Are you working on anything right now? I just yeah. wanted to stick that in before we... It, it's actually very similar to this topic about women empowerment choices. Um, yeah, I'm working on a feature-length um, production, and uh, it takes place in Beijing and also in Paris. Uh, it's about this um, uh, Chinese woman who um, is HIV positive, and she uh, is pregnant, and she has to deal with uh, the stigma that is extremely severe in China and is still considered a gay disease and there's a lot of misconceptions about that and uh, and then she transverses to her life in Paris where they have a completely different social um, you know regard for uh, HIV positive right. people but they also have a lot of stigma in terms of HIV positive women uh, having children and also because she's Chinese there's some racial discrimination as well so those two parallel worlds um, kind of comparing, contrasting, colliding in this film that I'm working on. <laughs> Will there be blood in it? Um, I think so, yeah. <laughs>